All right, here's part two of uh, my uh, Hyperspin main cabinet. This is Jeff, and I'm going to show you the games. So uh, what we're going to do is, the, right now it's in uh, computer mode. This is an XP machine. You can do it with Windows 7, um, but uh, it doesn't take um, a ton of, uh, you know, power really to run MAME. Um, I have noticed that some of the, the other games, the 3D games, run better on uh, faster computers. Um, but uh, I got a whole variety of stuff that works really well on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, this is a computer at the moment. I don't have it where you can boot it up and turn it down and stuff like that automatically. I just use it as a computer as well. So I'm just going to pop in here and uh, into my little thing and I'm going to pull out my mouse and I'm just going to click on hyperspin and uh, then I'll just put the mouse back in there and then you'll get to see how long it takes to come up okay so you can see the glare there now this intro I found this um, some of this stuff I combined the uh, wallpaper and I made this video myself of some of the um, my favorite games and uh, I really like this this background and of course you can put these things in here in the hyper spin and hyper theme um, so this is it goes right up to the main thing so then if I hit the joystick I go up and down with the joystick is how you go through hyper spin and main uh, if I go uh, down well then I've got my visual pinball which I hadn't mentioned before and this is pretty sweet this visual pinball um, this is not I did not make this stuff I found this stuff out there uh, thank you for for those who uh, contribute, and I plan to contribute back the things that I made. Um, but this worked really well, so I'm going to go back up to MAME. Those are the only two things I got uh, in Hyperspin at the moment. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the hit this button here, right? So it enters into MAME, and then it comes up to a random uh, random game, right? There's Domino Man, right? There's Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong 2, which uh, is really a hard game, a lot of fun though. Donkey Kong 3, and then you can spin through this thing uh, and go to you know anything, right? There's something else. Some of them got videos. This is not perfected. Um, some of the games don't even work really well, but uh, most of them do. Uh, but it's a work in progress. So uh, let's just say there's an old school and elevator action. Let's uh, let's pick something. What I also have set up also is um, this is your favorites button. You can go into favorites, and I also have the genre button. So if I hit this button here, I've got some genre set up. Um, got some Space Invaders thing in the background there, but I've got driving. I've got fighter. I use the word maze for uh, Pac-Man things like that. Even some pinball stuff, uh, platform. Uh, shooters and sports and all games of course so let me just uh, flip into maze here uh, some of my favorite games are in here and uh, we'll scroll down to uh, let's see let's just show you uh, let's just show you Mario Brothers alright so here's Mario Brothers and uh, so if I just hit this game hit this button right here um, what's going to happen is, is boom, it pops right up, goes into Mario Brothers. Some of them take a little longer than others to boot up, but uh, then uh, I got my coin over here. So you just hit this button here, gives me one credit, right there, and uh, I'll just do one player for now. So we hit the one player button. Let me see which side I want to be on here, over here. All right, so this is gonna be tough because uh, this takes two, two player, two hands. But uh, all right, so we can go back and forth, and of course, we just jump up, and you get the idea. And this is a great one because you can play two players with this one. And then to get out of the game, you just hit this button, and we're back to hyperspin. And of course, you know we've got some some great stuff on here like. Pac-Man, things like that. And then if I want to escape, go back, I just hit this, and then I'm back at main. Right? 
I can go back into MAME. Um, let me just show you, go to the genre, and show you a fighter. Uh, fighters are really popular. Um, this one's Art of Fighting. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, see how this one works. Okay, so this is a Neo Geo one. You can tell by the green screen there. So then it comes up. Let's turn it up a little bit. Alright, so we hit one player. And of course it goes through. Shows you how to do all the stuff. You have to figure out the buttons because the, the Neo Geo is like I said were these buttons down here. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna fight with one hand here, so and I'm not really great at these things. The kids around the neighborhood uh, always beat me up, but it's a lot of fun. All right, so I'm going to escape real quick uh, to make this a little shorter. I want to show you the visual pinball. Um, so I'm going to escape this, and it goes back to MAME. I'm going to go down one, go to visual pinball, and now I'm going to hit this, and you will see there's not a lot of videos out there yet, but I made these themes. Um, this one's called uh, Jack's Open. Right, this is old school pinball right here. As you can see, I got it set up 1977. Tells you the um, the manufacturer. Uh, if I go down, and some of these some of these are old school, um, and some of these are just just brand new that people have made. There's Jetsons. Uh, there's a really old one, King Tut. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, really nice. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Uh, Let's see, which one do we want to pick? Um, and these go way back to in the 70s, 60s, um, 80s, uh, 90s. There's a Lord of the Rings one. Um, really fancy right there. Um, let me see. Let's pick Silver Ball Mania. All right, so we just hit this button. Now, Visual Pinball takes a little longer to come up. Um... And this was actually really tricky to get into hyperspin and to get it to work right. And uh, thanks to those out there who have posted some ways to do it. Okay, so you can see that the menu went away there at the bottom. And hold on a second. There we go. All right, now with this one, you just use this for a uh, coin. Right? So you get your credit. You hit one player. And uh, you can see the ball down there. I got the, this button here is your plunger, right? So it pulls it back, shoots it up. You can only do one hand right now. But the, the, the pin action on this is amazing. It really is. Um, this, uh, this video doesn't do it any justice. It's really awesome. The sound effects, you can hear it. Get your flipper down there. And uh, this is really quite a good one there. I was just going to shoot it back up. And then if you want to come out of this game, uh, you just hit the escape key. And you can see there's a $6 million man. So it's, it's a lot of stuff here. And then, uh, of course, to get out, we just hit the escape key. It'll escape back out. And then if I hit escape again, I can exit completely out. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and stay in. Go back to main. And, uh, oops. Wrong button. And uh, there's the games. So if you have any questions, uh, comments, please uh, go ahead and, uh, and let me know. And uh, hopefully... Uh, this has helped somebody that may be inspired or want to do something like this, but I, uh, I really love this cabinet. It's been a lot of fun making it, really. Um, uh, my, uh, my wife loves the pinball, and, uh, and she, uh, there's a Tetris on there. She loves to play Tetris and a lot of different things. Uh, of course, she loves this one over here, too, with Miss Pac-Man and, uh, and Frogger and stuff like that. But thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you think.